Seen from a and E's show Live PD riveting the nation. This all happening in our backyard in Columbia, South Carolina. You can see a Richland County deputy struggling to make an arrest. But if this was happening in front of you, what would you do? Billy Jean Shaw has more on a South Carolina law that may require you to step in if you see an officer needs help. Many people I spoke to today shot to learn about this law. If a suspect is resisting arrest and a deputy or an officer asks you for help, by law, you have to help them. In an intense scene, 22 year old Brian Martin leading deputies on a high speed chase before his car flips over. Surprisingly, Martin gets out of the car with his two year old daughter and begins to scuffle with the only deputy on scene. We learned today the baby girl's arm was broken. All of this happening as a group of bystanders watched, some even recording the scene on their phones, not assisting the deputy. We asked people in Rock Hill what they would do if this happened in front of them. I think that I would have tried more to get the yeah, to help out, but I'd have tried more to get the young and uh, the kid out of the way. I would probably help him out because it, it, it would be the right thing to do, I think. Uh, if it was a civilian, I mean, I would do the same exact thing. All of these people would be doing the right thing if the deputy asked for assistance. State law says officers can call out for help from bystanders if the suspect resists arrest. I really wouldn't help him because I really don't know what's going on or anything like that, so it's not my place to step in. This young man shocked to learn if he refused to help an officer, he could face some serious consequences. Section 231570 of the South Carolina State Code of Laws says any person refusing to assist an officer could be charged with a misdemeanor, fined, or even serve time in jail. They could arrest me for that? Boy, that's messed up right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's really messed up. Well, I did a little research and I did not find any cases where bystanders have been arrested for not helping out officers. I also spoke to the Rock Hill Police Department. They say they never have that problem. In fact, they say there's a lot of good citizens who always lend a helping hand when they see an officer in need. In Rock Hill, Billie Jean Shaw, NBC Charlotte.